Welcome to the end of Brick Slopes 2025. I'm Brad. Behind the screen is Joe. And we are today going to go over this crane while uh, we are trying to disassemble it. So, welcome to the channel. Okay, so, as promised, here's the crane. Uh, obviously, crane train guy. So, here's the crane for this year. Um, it's a Leave Here LR 13,000. Lego already made this model, but I had to make a UCS series of them. This is my version. Everything on this thing works. Um, obviously, let's start off with the tracks first. You can see that. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm using, currently I'm using s -brick for this, so I have to bounce the signal onto a controller. That's why I'm using a Xbox controller. But there goes the motors on the tracks. We're going to swivel this thing around like so with just the track. But now we're going to start slewing it also, which means we're moving the upper structure. There we go. There we go. So this is actually built for minifig scale. If you can't tell by the little driver in the cab there. Uh, the counterweights on this thing. Uh, they are just Lego. They are not filled with weight or anything else. The sled on the back, back, the weight platform, it is actually, um, what? It's a V-frame configuration, which is not standard for the LR13000. But I did it this way for the extra control for the counterweights because this thing is super flimsy. Okay. As promised, everything on this bad boy works. So we're gonna raise up the upper boom for you. I gotta make sure which controller here. There we go. We got so many buttons on this X Xbox controller, it's hard to uh, figure out which is which. But it's lifting up the upper jib. I'm trying to hold the camera so you can be able to see that. And it now it's gonna lower, lower it. We can also do the boom and the hook but it takes forever for all, any of that stuff. All right, so one of the other features that I had to do with this crane is I needed a load meter. So this is my load meter. I've got enough flex from the slew ring to here that I know what it is neutral, but when it starts flexing, whether I got weight on the front or the back, this will tell me. Right now, I've got a lot of weight on the front. So as I bring back the main boom, like so, it's starting to move. You can see that needle moving. Once it gets straight up, it's pretty much neutral. Just like that. And you can see that now my counterweights are basically on the ground. So if I do the opposite, put my boom out, Super slow, so you gotta really look hard. Okay, now you notice the needle. Now I'm going to move my V-frame right back here. As I move it out, that needle is going to change back. Just like that. Okay, so it's down on, it's almost on the ground. Okay, so on these, you also have these up here. These are your hydraulic. Obviously, that's the best I could do with the motor. But I can drop that counterweight onto the ground. So I can drop my the weight if I need to. Oh, wrong way. Go opposite. But as soon as I drop that, my needles on the front is going to go up because all that weight will be shifted to the front of the slew ring again. And there goes the needle. So I'm trying to transfer that weight back off. Okay, so that's main, that's most of the functions. Obviously we got the back boom here. That works, but it takes quite a bit of time to 
adjust this, adjust this, move that for that, uh, for your, my weight gauge to work. So I'm not going to bore you with that. We're going to we'll be here for another 10 minutes. So well, that's my overall crane. We do have a little fly, fly through video that will probably be attached to this. So enjoy. Oh, one more thing. In this configuration, it's been tested to four pounds. So it's a little scary, but it's been tested to four pounds. So that's pretty good. A nine foot crane.